Welcome to the Truth of Y'all. The Truth of Y'all's board game's mission is to humble the world in the truth of y'all. The Truth of Y'all's board game's vision is to build up the poor man and woman in spirit. Many people are deceived by lies, deceit, fraud, pride, forward mouth, arrogance, and evil ways. The poor in spirit are attacked daily. The vision to build up the spirit is to cause people only to walk in the ways of Yahweh, just as his son Yahweh Shai and the prophets did, by not just speaking the word, but by putting every word Yahweh spoke into action. Into action. We're the sons of thunder Israelites, and it's our heart's prayer and desire that you all get the truth of your game. Use our discount code SOT for additional savings. Shalom. All right, let's, let's play, man. Let's, let's get, get it, man. Let's get it going, man. Shalom, I'm Sister Mayan, um, a student ambassador for the Spiritual Midwifery program. Spiritual Midwifery has changed my perspective in a positive way when it comes to birth work. It has made me confident that I'm taking on the role that the Most High has chosen me for. I feel as though it has provided me with the right tools to better serve my current clients as a doula and future clients as a midwife. What makes Spiritual Midwifery stand out more than other trainings and programs is that it's much much more personable. Just being able to learn with and learn from sisters that are like-minded brings out a level of closeness and spirituality that cannot be achieved by anything not ordained by the Most High. I can definitely feel his presence every time class meets. I would definitely recommend the program to other Hebrew women pursuing midwifery. It's such a joy to learn from another Hebrew sister and also have a community of sisters to learn with that face the same daily struggles that we face in life. Shalom, 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 family. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, all glory, and all honor unto the Most High God, Yahweh. Of course, I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's your brother, Ariala of Sakari. And I am excited to present to you, the nation of Israel, the official Hebrew Israelite Bible. Now, this has been the culmination of four long years of hard work, and it is available for purchase at HIBOfficialZion.com. Get yours today. Welcome to Pillars of Rest, where you can find special material for our sisters, by our sisters. This is a Sons of Thunder exclusive platform focused on building, encouraging, uplifting, and engaging with the daughters of Zion. Here you'll find personalized and interactive content geared towards showing what it truly means to be a pillar of rest. Interviews, scripture breakdowns, tips on motherhood, marriage, and testimonials are just the beginning of the many things to learn from and enjoy in this program. To the Bible, man. The and because Bible says cry aloud. And because the Lord that we serve is a man of no, war. That's know. right. That's so the men that serve the Lord are masculine men. Con? That's right. Con. That's right. So what we want you, brother, to do is step back into what the Lord has called you to be. Right. And that's a warrior after his own heart. That's Which right. Is a woman. Oh, I got you. you. I got you. I got you. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? I don't know. Why would you say that? You a man? It's the book of Exodus, chapter 15, and verse 3. 
The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a what? The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, man. And I'm still a man of war. Right? But you just say you're a woman. No, I didn't. I said God The Lord called you to be a woman. You said Listen, I'm finna go. I don't want to get into all this You gotta, you gotta stop, you gotta stop dealing with men, bro. Got to. Oh, um, well, how? Why do I have to stop dealing with men? Because God gonna kill you, or He might give you a. Who kill me then? He might give, he if you hate me that much, they kill me and send me to jail. Do you love he might God? Give I mean, I mean, send me to hell. He love you so much, He's telling you that. He may, he, God may give you an uncurable disease for that. I don't care, but like if you have certain desires and wants and feelings and stuff like that, hey, that's the rest of the. How the fuck am I supposed to change right. that? You can, if I like, like what it. I like, how am I supposed to be like, oh my God, I don't like this no more because God said don't like There are people that like to you cut themselves. Know. Should we leave them to do it? No, bro. Are they going to stop doing it just because you don't want them to? If I talk to them, maybe we can show them that the Lord said don't do that. Yeah, whatever. Because oftentimes and not, when people finish like those deeds, they feel a, a deep a deep regret, regret for it. Shame. Like a person, a person that's struggling with with uh with smoking right no but listen wait wait, wait. a person that's struggling wait i got a question a person that's struggling with sex crack. with anybody but a person that's struggling to smoke crack to stop smoking crack when they want the high they want it what's but wrong with smoking crack it, it destroys our people what do you mean we've if seen you, we've you seen crack men, and you sit there after you smoke it and you don't do nothing what's i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what? it's men that smoke crack that started off like you, brother. They like look like you. If you, you got clean. You got a you, clean you face. Your hair done and wait, stuff wait, like wait, that. You wait, don't wait, have sex with wait, no wait, man. Wait, What's wait, wrong with wait, that? Wait, wait, wait. You got a clean. You don't got no scars on your face. You got all your limbs. But we've seen people that's given over to a lifestyle of doing crack cocaine that's lost their limbs and that's lost their that lost their, lost their life lost their life over there. Yes, that true. lifestyle, that lifestyle but I feel kills. Like it's not because of the crack. I feel like it's I think I think it's about the drugs. I think it's, it's, have it's you deeper than the drugs. Uh, bro, you slowly killing deep. yourself, bro. Cocaine destroys you. Oh, if you God, see, you if you do, do I not get it? Or have I seen crack destroy people? I've seen it. Have you ever seen crack destroy somebody? I've watched. Right. Crack is cheap. And what is what is what does crack being cheap have to do with it destroying people? You ever heard of the crack mm -hmm. epidemic? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's what you want us to do. Right. You, you ever heard of the crack epidemic? You know what the crack epidemic is? Let's ask him. Come here, come here. Come here. Look at him. Ask just, him. Just look at him. Why would I ask him? Because you're scared. You don't want to ask him. Oh, I'm looking right. at him and seeing yeah, the man Why would you be scared of a crackhead? Why would you be scared of a crackhead? Stop. Stop smoking help crack. Him. Help him. Right. Stop smoking crack. First, stop smoking crack. Why would we give you a place to stay if you want to continue to smoke crack? He's just gonna stop smoking crack. Why do my goddamn money? What you so fucking concerned about me fucking? The guy might go. Get off that crack, brother. How can you tell? How can you tell me crack okay while he's still speaking right now? Take that nigga in your house if you want. Right. Right. Wake up, no TV, show me the scripture no radio, no copper. No copper. So All your pipes don't work. You ain't gonna show me that one. I can. Absol Ab 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 Absalom, a son, of, a son of David. He had let hair so long either. every year they had to cut it off. Ooh. I'm looking at all y'all. He cut your grill. That's a cut. That's a cut. It was quick. He ain't got Samson. He didn't even realize. He got Samson. Realize what about Samson? A mighty man. He actually brought up Samson earlier too. Who would have put you to death for speaking like that about the Lord? You ever heard of a Nazarite vow? You ever heard of a Nazarite vow? Guess who gonna come after you? Hey brother, have yes. you ever heard of a Nazarite vow? A Nazarite vow, you make a vow to the Lord and you cannot put a razor or you cannot cut your hair. That's who I am. Until your vow is up. put no razor to my hair on my hair. But you can't drink. You can't, you can't, drink you can't take it to the grapevine. Yeah. It's a, it's a vow, but in I order to take that vow, you like can't my hair cut your like hair. This for that yeah, bro, but you got to stop dealing with the men, bro. You can't bro. be a sodomite. You, cannot, you cannot be do you a love, sodomite. Do you love you God? I like girls, too. Do, 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 that's yeah, evil. But, that, but you can't. Do, that's yeah. That's, that's evil because you you exposing them girls to something they don't know. Right. That's not cool. They don't know how you get there. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, and they don't care. Then they dirty and as dirty and disgusting as you are. Right. Right. Now, that's my that's Malachi. Malachi is crass and curt. So he's going to tell it to you straight. It's dirty and disgusting what you're doing. I'm going to tell you what's up. Like, uh, I'm a sinner. Do you love that's God? Even, even the nature I of... I church. Even the nature, even the nature of how you and your man deal 
is dirty and disgusting. Right. Yeah. Because you have to do it. It anyway. probably is dirty, disgusting, the vomiting back to and you got to deal with the micro tears and in your anus. Do you have since you missed the perfect? I didn't say I missed the perfect. What do you say, though? I'm trying to make you perfect, though. You talking about I got to stop dealing with me? Precept. Give me who, he who can be so soft. Yeah. Listen, this is what I'm trying to do. Look, I'm not saying I'm better than you, and that's not what he's I'm not saying. I'm not saying that I'm better than you. We know that, but he's not saying that either when he criticizes your lifestyle choice. So what you want me to do? What? I, change. Can I cannot help Pistol. it if I see yes, a guy. Can. No, I cannot if I see yes, a guy that walk by and I'm attracted to him. What, what oh. you want me to do? You gotta fight that. You gotta fight that feeling, bro. Christ said. Christ said some of those demons you can't get off unless you uh, fast and pray. Fast and praying. Okay. All right. It's all, it's all it takes is fast. This is the Book of James, uh, chapter five and verse nineteen. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, and one what? And one convert him. What convert me? Convert me. Jesus was gay in the church. Yeah, and that's pastors was gay. That's not okay. Preachers. That's not okay. Just saying they still work. Yeah, so you, but you can't use that as an excuse because that's not okay. I'm telling you that it's a. I will not obtain. Go to uh, 1 Corinthians 6 real quick. Wait, it was, it was a little more. Oh, my bad. James 5 and 19. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall he, save a soul from death. He that convert, he that changes the sinner from the error of his ways does what? Shall save a soul from death. That's what I'm trying to do. Come on. Bro, focus, dude. He He's that converted from sin. Focus, okay? Okay. okay. What did that scripture just say? Uh, exactly. Focus. <laughs> he that he that converted a sinner from the error of his ways, save him from death. That's what we're trying to do. We all gonna die one day. I already died twice. Yes. Yeah, but why should why should you die before your go to Ecclesiastes, man? Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Come, come, come on. Why? Why? And there's a death. And there's a death without remedy. Seven or six. God, there's a death without remedy. There's a death without remedy. The most high brought you back for a reason. Right. So that you can hear these words. Brother. You all right? Ecclesiastes chapter 7. There no COVID or nothing. Sons of thunder. So they don't have no shelter for homeless men. Ecclesiastes 7 and 17. Be not over much wicked. Listen. Be not over much wicked. Listen. Be not over much wicked. Neither be thou foolish. I know it's wrong. Why shouldst thou die before thy time? Why should you die before your time? We're yes, we all gonna die. Time, you know what I'm saying? Are you high, bro? Not, you high right not. now? No, why did you ask me weird ass questions? Because you acting weird. Acting like, <laughs> no, I'm not act, how am I acting high? Because you you're not act, asking weird questions, bro. Not we just we trying to get you to focus and you talking about something else. I said if these two people came up here because they want to hear so talk to them. Let them get a chance. Them brothers, them them brothers, brothers, know. brothers know the information. What we, what's more important to us is, is helping you. I all my business out and told y'all whatever, whatever. I should have even did this. So That's just, let's just move yeah, on. You okay. didn't, you didn't do that so we can yeah. mock you this morning. Right. You did that for a reason. Let's do it. You know what I mean? So like We're not gonna mock you this morning. We, we here to help somebody you. else for a minute, please. Like, like the Adam wanted saying, you ain't do that for us to mock you to scorn. You did that so we could help you. The Spirit put it on you to say yeah. that yeah. so that I we could help you. Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 3.18 says, listen, brother, listen, listen, brother, listen. Ezekiel yes, 3.18 says that if we warn the wicked from his wicked way, then we shall save our own soul. That's right, bro. Right? But if you don't turn from your wicked way, you're still going to die in your sin. Nah, we tell you this because we love you, brother. We're not we're not trying to put you down I never see you in the dirt. Why? I never see nobody. You love me and you don't even know me. Because, because you're one of us. You're my brother. He, he ain't never, he don't he, believe that. He's right? never experienced never love like this before. You, I'll tell you this. You never, I'll tell you this. You don't have to be homeless. If, if, if you reform yourself, I bet you your parents will give you back a foundation and then you can build yourself from there. It's always like you got to be so perfect and still like, I don't know. I don't know. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. I can't. I don't know how to be perfect. We're going to show you. This is who I am. We're going to show you. He's about to show you how to be perfect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give me, give me the book of Ephesians. Give me Ephesians. Yeah, yeah, Psalm 119, like 119 to 9. Yeah, yeah, and I Ephesians. Ephesians no, wait, I want you to come back. I want you this is the book of Psalm, chapter 119 and verse 9. Watch this, my brother. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Uh -huh. 
by taking heed there too according to thy word. That's right. how you start off. Now listen to me. If I feel like a person wants you to be perfect to accept you, then I don't want to be around that person. It's not about being. It's not, it's not about. It's not that. about being. Cause they ain't perfect either. Listen, my brother. It's not about. It's because you're not dealing with the certain, the same sins that I'm dealing with. Don't mean you're not dealing with your own exactly. sins. Exactly. But, but there's a sin unto that. It's not. It's not, it's not about you being a hundred percent perfect, Chris. It's about you it's striving for perfection. I say you shall not pray for right. Try, yeah. try not to go. That's what it's right. about. Give me, give me the book of Philippians. You know what I want. And read that in the in, in uh, First John five. Ephesians, yeah. And get first John 5, right. 16. Listen, listen, listen. Two and 26. Yeah, 26. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 26. Uh -huh. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. The Lord is going to sanctify you and clean you up by the, the Are you the drinking water? a hand sanitizer? No. I put water in it. Oh. oh. Okay. Why are you making that face. All right. Because right. y'all always like. Oh, okay. Like, drinking something uh, a little yeah. stronger than water. You're drinking something stronger than water, huh? Possibly, I, I do a lot of things. Stop lying. Don't do that. Don't lie to us. I smoke. I, oh, I do a lot of things. No, the, the Satan is using your body to do a lot of things. I don't think Chris want to do that. He's using you to destroy you. Right. You're your own worst enemy at this point. If, if you go to Matthew six, 5. I'm 6, well, 6, 6. 5 and 40. Oh. Uh, what do you say? Well, he's he's professing. Say, say that again. Six. Say that again. Why? Say it again. If that's you. If that's you. Yeah, I can say that with me. Hadassah. You need to watch your mouth, man. I mean, nah. all right, talk to this is the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. Look at this. Why would you I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. Wait, 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 wait. What did it say? I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Do you believe this? Read it again for him. I can do all things. Read it slow. Philippians 4 and 13. Uh -huh. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Can you be perfect? <laughs> like I said, when I first got here, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Hey, give Matthew 5 and 48. Uh -huh. okay. You love God? You love God? The real God? Yes. yes. The real God. The, the living God. Um, does he love me? That's, that's, that's the question. Does he? Right. Does he love you? Hey, get Syrac 12 and 6. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 48. Uh -huh. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So God calls you to be perfect. Now we already showed you that being perfect requires you to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Right. If you're not keeping the commandments, read this. Well, you I said, keep them, does I'm God not love you? Person that does God that love you? Life. Read. This is the book of Syrac, chapter 12 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Look it out. For the Most High Hated sinners. sinners. Read it again. For, For the, the most, most high hated sinners. sinners. God hates sinners. Right. Read on. And will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. And he's gonna pay vengeance unto the ungodly. I'm pretty sure he is. And right. he, and ahead, keepeth them against the mighty day the of their punishment. Precept. That the and the reason for that, don't take it like don't get defensive. Yeah, yeah, the reason for that precept. If you want everybody to be perfect, you would have made it to where we are perfect. And people he, have sin, he, and they have lust, and different stuff and stuff. He yeah, made it to where you can attain perfection. You don't care. You want to kill us, so just go he, ahead. He left a hint. I don't he care. Left a hint. I do not care. He left a hint. He said, I can't control it. Uh, That's what you said. That's what I said. So the, the right thing to say is, can y'all teach me how to overcome it? Right, right. Now teach me how to overcome something that you haven't overcome. Have you? I've overcome sin. God. You can, you can too, bro. Ask the brothers, yo, show me how. Hey, they got our brother right there. Hey, brother, come listen to him. Hey, hey, no, we need you real quick. Real quick, real quick. We need you. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, all praise. You ain't see, you in, you in our latest video. You ain't see it? We was talking to you before. I didn't see it. I don't have the YouTube channel, I'm sorry. You're supposed to have a YouTube channel. You got a flyer. You got a flyer, man. gave you the flyer. We're going to give you another one. You working on things like we talked about? I'm trying, man. You talked to them before? They stopped me like three times. And we cool, right? I just don't know how to say like, Oh, we not cool? <laughs> we not cool? Y'all <laughs> cool? Y'all are cool. You I don't feel think like everybody cool. believes in the same reason. I'm not saying that I don't agree with y'all, but, you know. They don't believe. They feel like you're a cult and God is not even real. We oh, feel like God's not real. Oh, he just talking. Yeah. Wait, wait. He just talking, man. Don't pay him no mind. What do you mean? What do you mean? We so. trying to tell Brother Chris the same thing we told you. That you, that life. When you die, you're dead. That's it. 
we're not talking about that. We're talking about how we can work on things and improve as individuals. We're talking about how you need to work on things and how you need to improve. All right, Chris, you acting up now. You, you was cool would, before. You was cool before. That's what I'm telling you, okay? <laughs> You know, now you acting over, different. Man, Cause, cause dude came. Is that he acting that's different? He, he acting up. different. Before he was acting regular, we was talking. Mm -hmm. Now you yeah. acting up. Now you're not being cool. No, Why? Because now I feel like you're just picking on people. Who finds you a girl? Who did we? Who did we? Like who did we pick on ever? When you ever talk to us? I don't think y'all picked on me. But okay, all right. <laughs> so why he say that? Why was he saying that? Like, I, I, I can understand why he probably felt like he was making art just because of y'all's <clears throat> ideology. It's like, it's just not for everybody. It's not. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. It's for one third. It's for one third. That's right. Go to Zachariah, show them. Break it up. Because we like the Bible. Yeah. Right. And we and we love our people. Right? right? And we love our people. Right. Right? Well, now, now you, just, come now on. Now you making like threats. He said, I will fight a man. I don't know why he was fighting a man. I don't know why he was fighting And you will be a fool. No, he came and talked to us. He came to him because I was waiting on one of my other friends. He showed up. He acting up now. He was cool before. We just talking. Hey! That's why I acted high because you acting weird, bro. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and verse 8. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off. And die, but the third shall be left therein. So out of the three parts, look, out of the three parts, two parts gotta go. That's right. right. So it's only gonna be a remnant. So which two of y'all gotta go? We're yeah. trying to be in that one part. Right. Them two. Ah, oh, come on. Why would you do that? Why would you say? And you notice he said we trying to be. All right, we don't even consider ourselves to be a part of that number. That number, man. Right. Three verse nine. All right. Like if you judge me, I want to kick you in your face because what you should whoa, not be whoa, judging what I'm me. Saying, Are you saying. judge Judy? Did we one. ever judge you? No, not oh, ever. Right. But this is what I will say. This is what I will say. I never felt by you guys being out here that y'all were judging me. But it's the ideology behind it that judges people like us and the things that we're doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, I don't need to oh, I've been here for a long time. But they I, I just feel like, I'm I don't know. I think there's nothing wrong with what you guys are doing. Oh, but I don't know. I feel, I, I feel what you're saying. Oh, but like, when, I, when, you hear, when you hear that type of vernacular from the Christian church, like if you don't, if you if you're if you if you're a homosexual, you're gonna die, right? Right. Now that lifestyle, if they, what's happening? That's what, but that's what, that's what so he's talking about. But it's just like, I, I get what you're saying with right, that right. vernacular, like what you're right, saying, right. but it's just like also everybody's gonna die at some point. Right, exactly. now that's true. But we just read the scripture to say, and how do you know you're going, every time, you're, right? you're going to every time? Because you're perfect. Now a thing, a thing like this, a thing that's dealing with homosexuality, what people are doing is they're reading what the Bible says, right? right? And now us as Bible believers, what we have to do is let God be true and every man a liar. Even if that man is ourselves sometimes. Right. Because what ourselves do is make license and excuses to do certain things. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, when we go into the church and they say, it's oh, okay. they don't they don't have enough tact or they're not you, apt you enough to <clears throat> deliver it a certain way. They just say, nigga, you gonna die. Nigga, you gonna die. They're gonna, die. Gonna, die. Die. They gonna say it like that. With that type of with that type of fire. This is my question though, why I feel like I am a child of God and I do believe that I am a Christian and I am getting stronger in my faith like each day as I go whatever. Hey, no, you know, about this but at the end of the day, like, what do you say to, cause I feel like y'all practice kind of tells people like, if you are gay, it is wrong. But why would God put no, me there? No, they, cause when I first got there, they didn't say anything about it. Me let him finish. Me personally, I know a lot of, there's a lot of people in the world that think that it's plenty of gay. gay people mm -hmm. chose to be plenty. gay. But me personally, I don't, I don't know. I don't know him. But me personally, I feel like I was born gay. That's just me. I feel like I look crazy on y'all YouTube channel. Don't No, no, no. no. We don't make you look like that. We don't okay. do that. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like Ooh, I was wait, born wait, gay. Wait, wait, wait. Don't so make like, it work. What do you say? Like, how am I supposed to well, I live it. in a world and be a part of a religion that tells me I'm going to hell because I am gay, but I know that I am a child of God? You um, believe in the New Testament? Yeah. Show him uh, what Paul said. Yeah. First Corinthians six. Yes, First bring it out. And and I don't know if you remember, but I'm glad. Right. I'm glad we're zeroing in. 
because we talked about this point last week. I just feel like I mean, last, have, last time we spoke to you, right? Yeah, let me say I have nothing to say because I felt uncomfortable, but it's just like, I don't know. That's yeah. how I feel. Now, this right here, no, this right here, this can stop, change. Stop, stop, don't hold do on, that. Chris, no, don't be like yeah, that. I'm going to say something. Hold on, hold on, real fast. He's, he's talking. He asked the He asked the question. Don't. When you had the floor, man. Let us answer it real quick. I'm going to tell you because I just do what I'm trying to tell you is just don't bully people if you feel like they gave this. I'm not going to bully. I'm not going to bully. Have we ever done that? I'm trying to but I'm but that's what I'm saying. Y'all have never done it to me, but I can understand how other people would feel like, that way. Now, just to answer your question, right? Because people don't play this about right stuff here, like that. This right here is, and is a part of a continual like, work. Because the scriptures teach us that man's goings are of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Like, right. This ain't okay. the first time we talked to you, and this is not the first time I remember they talking to you. Know what I'm saying? And through the Spirit, the Most High keep having you come up here. Don't think like... Oh, I just don't know how to say no. No, the Most High is bringing your ass over here for a reason. Right? Again and again. Again and again. It's, right. never, it's, it's never. It's never. It's never you. Don't try to cross the street next time. Either. Exactly. It's never you. That's it's, like. I'm sorry. Oh, I've I been can't. walking across the street. Y'all been yelling at. I I be seeing y'all all the you time. I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'm saying, but these times don't feel like it's you saying. Oh, I just don't know how to say no to them. It's the Lord right. wanting you to be here to hear this word. That's right. right. For you to receive it, understand it. This is part of a continual work of you, right? Now, saying that, that Bible do say that. It's not for you to say, well, I feel like I was made this way, and so I'm gonna move forward accordingly. You, you're, you're like the elder told, told y'all last time, you're probably doing that to overcome that and then teach brothers as well. Because the Bible, the Bible been written. The Bible say, thus saith the Lord. The Bible teaches you this. Give me that in, in, in First Corinthians. Yo. First Corinthians six and nine. Uh-huh. Listen. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? You want to inherit the kingdom of God. Your faith is growing. Right. But some if you're so unrighteous, if you cannot inherit that kingdom. Right. 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 Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. Now, deception. What is deception? Your own your your own mind. Satan is gonna teach you. Okay. Oh you can. Yeah, just someone out there. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. I'm gonna down. Now, the scripture says, "Be not what? Be not deceived. Be not what? Be not deceived." The world is gonna teach that. Okay, God love. God is love. So he's gonna allow this. Hold on. Hold on, Chris. God is love. He's gonna allow you to do this. No, be not deceived. Why? Neither fornicator. Let him listen. Neither what? Neither fornicator. Fornication is an unlawful and illicit sexual act. Right. Read. Nor idolaters. Read. Nor adulterers. Uh huh. Nor effeminate. Nor people. Brothers, that's effeminate. Feel brothers, like that's this because not I'm necessarily. No, because this not necessarily. Talk, talk louder does not make it more effective. Okay, okay he's getting on my nerves. Not, not people that hold on. Why is he? Be patient. Why are you acting like that? Be patient. Now we gotta understand. We gotta. We have to understand. We have to understand. Hold on, Chris. We gotta understand. The scriptures say neither effeminate. This is a person that does not ex that per se go into the action but he has women characteristics he's, he's feminine in his nature his nature instead of masculine the bible says he cannot and what the else are you? read on nor on. abusers of themselves with mankind now the people that abuse themselves with mankind we know what that is are people that do indulge in those sexual activities the bible this is not us what we're about not niggas speaking, that are gay We're not speaking of ourselves. We're not speaking of our own hearts and how we feel. Right. We're teaching what the Bible says. That's right. That's our responsibility. Right. Yeah, stop. Give me the book of No, keep Acts. reading. No, keep okay. reading because so like this is the right. point. Read. Here's the point. Watch this. Okay. So like at all. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind, uh -huh. nor thieves, Come on. nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Read. And such were some of you. Sometimes we were in that we life. No so that's God. showing you that the Bible is saying yeah. you can change. Get away from that dude. The Bible is yeah. saying you can change. That's right. right. It's saying there was brothers that used to be effeminate, that used to lay with men. There was also brothers that were drunkards and, 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 and murderers and, and so adulterers. Brothers who but they changed. Right. We're so not when you effeminate, said, still yo, slept with men. Hold on. Hold on. So when you said, I feel like I was born this way, 
That's not so. Yes, it is. That's how I'm gonna explain. Fuck he feels from the same, can't change from the same. Fuck he feels, uh, and you need to respect. You, you, right now, you're just being rude. Yeah. No, it's no other way to describe that. it. It's no other way to describe it. Right. And just because the world tell you that, and Obama endorses that, and we and we deal with what the most and I that's got. That's why they have that's right. That's right. Right. That's right. They have rights, and they have. Why you think they have? Twenty nine. Hey. I do have a question though. I feel like I understand everything that y'all are saying, but why is it even everything? Are you done? No, I gotta do this. How you gonna tell a man you not done, done with his phone? That's that's crazy. You rude, bro. That's but crazy. He said I can use it. Okay, so the chicks and shit. The only reason I'm gonna go no niggas is different. Yeah, it's crazy. All those things that would not get you into the kingdom of heaven, like being one hundred. And I I just went to church on Monday. We talked about this in church as well on Monday. But it's like, yeah. why in society today, and I guess it's not fair to talk about society. Like, no, it is. I don't know. You can but say why whatever. in society today is the biggest what thing of all that, that anybody can ever talk about is homosexuality. Because Out Atlanta. Of, do you really want but it? But it's, it's not just Atlanta. It's, it's all the whole thing. But Atlanta, I can't, I'm trying to talk. He, anytime talk. you talk, he talks. He's just making it about him. Right. So it's not even so much that he's effeminate. Yeah, it's, it's more that he's very selfish. Sin, do, you know, so many people want it. Just stop, stop being so selfish and let I'll other people selfish. have the discussion as yeah. well. You will get killed. I don't even know what he's talking about anymore. So now, Atlanta's biggest problem is that. Right. No. Why? Because the media has vaunted Atlanta as the epicenter Can for that movie? lifestyle. Right. And that's why the church is trying to zero in on it because they have to come in contact with it with people from even a young age right. children that shouldn't that's even understand is. what sex is that's about right. are already going that way and then that's not a, a nature it's a sexual orientation so children are yo bro bro come on like as a gentleman stop so even children are aiming nah come on come on why you being like that Watch your mouth. Get up the street. So, what what the the problem that the children are encountering is, as you good? Okay. the 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 problem that the children are having is this: homosexuality is a sexual orientation. It's not an identity. Meaning. They see a girl and they start to emulate that when really they're taking on an identity, not a sexual path. Right. But Atlanta is making the sexual desire the identity. So even the children are saying, well, I'm gay. Like you're a kid, you never even had sex right. before. Right. How you know you gay? You know, because he's made the sexual- say the same thing about heterosexual kids as well? Yeah. Yes. You look at men and you so want to emulate this. Yes. Look at Sexy Red, what she's doing to the little girls. Right. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for you four. Right. Hands on your knees what? Correct. So we're teaching against all of that. But I want to touch on something you said. You said you feel you was born that way. Right. And you want to be a Christian. So that means right. that the Bible is your constitution. Read that for him. Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. Lo, this only have I found. This is the only thing that's true. That God has made man upright. See, see he, that's Satan. Satan. That's Satan. That's Satan. He told you who he was. That's Satan. He did say that. You, you determined not to let nobody listen to the word. So can you go up the block? Can you have a nice day? If you're not going to let nobody listen, why are you going to hang around? I've been here all day. But you're in the way. We're, re we're literally talking to him. So can you hold your peace? I know I've been. Read that again. Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. It's annoying. No, this only have I found. This is the only thing that's true. That God has made man upright. God made man upright. He didn't make you against what he wants you to be. Read. But they have, thought, they have sought out many inventions. But you, the person you are, sought out that lifestyle for yourself. You made this choice. Right. So you can make the choice consciously to walk away from it. But I don't know, I just, I feel like I disagree with that a little bit because how at a young age can I have made the choice that I want to be that we, knowing all the odds that, that are against Because you, 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 you were too young to know all the odds and you assumed an identity without the proper spiritual guidance to point you in the right way. And the Lord, and the Lord now, 
is reaching out to you a second time with brothers who are compassionate and understanding and not trying to cast you down, but are just trying to share the grace of Christ with you. That's right. Because you were into this. That's right. So we, we making you aware of the things that the scriptures say. And now you got to think about That's it on your man. own time. You got to say, damn, if God made me upright, but I sought this out, how do I turn from it? And, that, and then you go from there. Yo, the next time I see the brothers, I'm going to tell them, here's a temptation that's on me. What am I supposed to do? And the brother's going to have answers for you. That's right. Because that's the only reason we come outside. You know? Come on, man. There is no way, bro. Like, like come on. Yeah. See why I asked him that? What you asked him? Are you high? Because you're doing weird stuff, bro. Weird stuff, bro. Are you Satan? All right. All right. You didn't answer that. The that. book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 13. There is no temptation taking you, but such hey. as is common to man. There's, there's no temptation. But this scripture is saying there's no temptation on this night. You're of yours. Is not you can have a whole bag. Right? right? All the temptation that you say you struggle with, whatever you war with yourself within, about, every man, there's plenty of men on the earth Bro. that have faced this. You can read about it, Bro. you can see it in your everyday life, but those same men have conquered so if, if a man can conquer that, you can as well. Right. Because guess what? You're a child of God, like right. you said. You can do it. You can do it. But God is faithful. But what? But God, God is, is faithful. And why can you conquer? Because the Most High God is faithful. The Who? Most High God didn't create you to make you believe, ah, oh, there's no hope for me. Right. Right. No, it's his, it's his, it's his joy to give you the kingdom. Right. But you got to earn it. Right. right? Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. And, but, he, and he's not going to put you in any circumstance that you can't overcome. He will never do that. Because the Most High God is not, not unrighteous. Read. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And now, wow. he, and now the Most High God Beautiful. has made a way, even with the temptation that you're in, made a way for you to escape out of it and come to life. Mm, that's right. You stand before men who teach the Bible. Okay. That's right. There's men up here that have overcome all sorts of temptations. That's right. Right? So what we're telling you is the temptation you're facing is no different from the temptation that these men have. Hey, just, just the way you feel you have certain desires, we feel we have desires. Right. That's right. But the, but the Most High told us, we don't even get a pass because our desire is natural. Right. We don't get a pass. We, get no pass. we still got to control it. Right. Right. These brothers, we used to deal with women and this, that, and the third. We used to smoke the weed, man. Right. The Lord said no, you and know? we stopped. That's we stopped. right. We was given a wrath. Some men will look out. Some men are given a wrath. Hey, right. a brother crossed me, or he does something wrong to me, I want to get it back immediately. Yeah. Right. Some right. brothers, to the extent, they want to get it back in blood. But the commandments command me not to be that way, but to love my neighbor That's as right. myself. Right. And That's brothers right. change, and we change. So the same temptations that we had to overcome yeah. It's the same temptation. Common, common, common to men. Common it's to men. common to <laughs> men. Why is it common? Because all of our temptations come of the same thing. That's in the, they uh, separate right. you from the Most right. High God. So what we would like for you to be is draw nigh unto the Most High God. Like we draw nigh unto the Most High God every single day. That's right. So you got to die to yourself every day. And hey. what that means is shed off that old man. Hey, that's right. That's hey, right. Get that, in, get that in uh, Ephesians that's chapter right. 4 and verse 22. Right. Hey, I'm going to read something to you. Hey, this is this is talking about what you were talking about earlier. The politicians, okay, and how everything seems to accept homosexuality, right? This is the book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Bring it out. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this cause god gave them up unto vile affections for their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature and likewise also men leaving the natural use of women burned in their lust see that one toward another men with men Working that, that which is unseemly, is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the that, recompense of the error which is me. And now they got punished. That's not the truth. God, God said, "Who changed the truth of God into a lie?" So when you say, "Why is everything seeming to accept homosexuality?" That's because right now we're on Satan's playground. He's in charge of this earth. Oh, okay. he oh, no, 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 save your voice, because this don't make no sense. Well, every time we get to the good part, 
Get your old 9 to 24 first. Hey, which one of y'all is the bastard? All of us. All of us. All of us. Get your old 9 to 24. It's the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Uh huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Read it again, King. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. This is Satan's world. You understand? Okay. But if we, all right, throw off, all right, the lust of the flesh, and we start dealing with the spirit, understand? We start dealing with the spirit and come back to the truth, then God will give us or, this world, or you can say all right, this. and give us rulership. That's what we got to understand. Read that in the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. Ephesians 4 and 22. Uh -huh. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. You got to put off concerning the former conversation. That's what you knew before you start learning the truth of God. So the homosexuality has to cease, brother. Understand? Read on. The old man. The what? The old man. The old man. All right? Is dealing with the flesh. Bring it out. Understand? Okay? Dealing with sin. Read. Which is corrupt Read. according to the deceitful lust. And so, and it's according a deceitful to lust. The deceitful lust. Deceitful lust. Deceitful lust. So it's, deceitful. Mm. it's Satan's attempt to, to deceive you so that he can reap, reap you and have you be destroyed. Make you think that this is how you're supposed to be. That's right. And that there is no way to overcome it because this is who you are. Right. That's what his job is. I was born this way and right. this guy in the third. Ah, you know God made on? you upright. God made you upright. Read. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And do what? Be renewed, renewed in, in the, the spirit, spirit of your mind. mind. All right, now you got to change your way of thinking, okay? You got to come back to these laws, the statutes, and commandments. That's the way we're supposed to live. God gave us the blueprint, all right, for salvation. Understand? Okay? But the world has given us the blueprint for destruction. Right. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Uh -huh. We got to walk on that straight and narrow path. Understand? Read. And that you put on the new man. And that you put on what? The, the new, new man. man. That's what we've done, brother. Okay? We stopped pouring our women out. We stopped smoking the weed. We stopped dealing with sin. Understand? Right. We put on the new man. You can do the same. It doesn't matter. A lot of people think that brothers can't shake that homosexuality spirit. Right. But you can, man. Yes, you and can. the majority of you brothers that's dealing with that spirit and sisters, you want to get up out of it because yeah. you know it's a demon. Read. Cut. Which after God is created in righteousness Which and true holiness. Now that new man is created <laughs> what? After God is like it. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. All right, after God, which is created in righteousness, which is true holiness. Holiness, it just means separate, okay? It means that you're living differently than everybody else. And that's us, man. Look at us, man. And now we got on hoodies or whatever. But if you look at all of us, you see brothers with these strange up, looking man. strings hanging off their clothes. We wear these because the the, the, the the Bible commands us to wear these. Yeah, that's yeah. right. It's lucky. Go ahead, Ken. And not only to our outer garment, but our inner garment as well. That's right, right brother. Right, right. The world will have you think it's a natural thing for you to get vengeance on your brother. But we're commanded to not bear a grudge. Right. We're commanded to rebuke our neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. That means teach him the ways that he ought to go. Right. So the, the world the world will have you think, hey. Hey, that's what he believes. Let him. That's be. how he wants to live. Let him be to each his own. But the Bible, the Most High God told you, look, if you love your people, you're going to go and tell your people why, what they're doing wrong. Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom.